Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. This video I'm going to walk through all the buttons that's available on the e 4998 interface so that we know where are the settings situated. So if you need to change any of the setup, this is a very good video to refresh the memory of where are the buttons located. So first of all, let's look through here. So the first tab is about channels. So you can select that next channel can just pinpoint that and click that. Then we have response, channel max, trace max, channel one, channel max, nothing much, measurements, so it changes the setup here, the format, so it's another way to reach out to the soft buttons on your right. We'll go through that, stimulus, same, start, stop frequency, go through there, so set up similar things, analysis, marker, so we can change the equivalent circuits there, instrument state, so we can go through to instrument setup, then we have macro, we have, saves, we have system, so by the way, since we are here, on the system, we can go to miscellaneous and network setup. So this is where you can set up the network to be static or dynamic and dialog. You pop up the IP address and you can reset the LAN just in case you feel that the LAN has disconnected. Right, that's about it on the top. So let's go through here. So under the menu, we have measurements. So under measurements, you can select different type of combinations. And this oscillator monitor it will tell you the the voltage that and also the current that has been drawn. DC monitor on off. This is the point measurements. Then we can set up number of traces here. So by default, three and four is off. You can do this display. Yeah, number of traces. Right. So let's. Is. Let's go back there. Let's go back to return. So that's measurements. So this is where you can set the traces. Then we go to format. So format y axis this is where you can change the linear to log. And all these are gray out. Then scale, auto scale, auto scale all. Divisions, you can change the scales. Reference tracking. Not very sure. And then display allocate channels to how you want it to be displayed on the screen. One window, multiple window, cascading. So let's say we do that and then I can just draw. Can you pull this? No. So I thought it would be like ENA you can pull the trace and put in another window but anyway so these two different channels yes channels is different so you can do that no. channel is like two different group of measurements so you just ping pong between those channels so display data memory memory and data if you want to memory and then compare data to memory it should show there data math Memory. Oh, sorry, this is happening on there. Data to memory, data and memory. You can see that it's on top of each other. The memory, data math. Then we have equation editor. Do all the calculations. You can do it here on the trace. You can create a new trace of the result. Equation, edit title. So you can put it there. So we just put in the Title exchange. No, I don't see it. Yep. Over here. Article. Yep. Invert color if you want something high contrast. That would be it. Frequency you can turn on and turn off. If it happens that you have something to protect the information, so like the frequency test, you can just close off this. Minimize. Let's go back to the window. So title bar on off. So it's just this one. 
So if you want your report to look nicer, you can go with that. And return average this way you set the averaging. Um, the higher the measurement time, the more precise you're getting. Averaging restart, just restart the averaging. Right now it's 16. If you have to turn on, turn off, so you just get 16 measurements and build up from there. So let's turn it off now. Then cattle compensation. So this way you select the accessories, the tile adapter, adapter setup, face measurements, open shot dot, user um, fixture compensation, compensation point, fixed frequency, return stimulus. This way you set your frequency, sweep setup. Number of sweep, number of points, linear sweep, cemented, lock any tier, cemented is creating unequal number of points in a certain frequency range. Um, yeah. So you can just do that, change that, let's go back there. DC bias, this is where you're going to set the DC biasing to the pot. So can use the port out to bias your device on the test. So this is why you set the voltage. So remember to turn on when you need to bias. Trigger, whole, single, continue. Uh, nothing much. Internal, external. If you combine with another instrument, you just scroll down. Marker, turn on the marker. Marker to reference. More marker, up to nine. Search, pick, minimum, marker functions, where you want to move the marker to the center of frequency, notations, not sure. Analysis, this is where you set the equivalent circuit, the equivalent circuit, so a couple of A, B, C, D, M to G type, so you can go through A, B, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Then return instrument setup is the summary of how, what you can do quickly. Macro, this is where you run automations, and this is quite detailed. If you need to know, it's in the help form, you can check it out. And we have macro manual. This when you have loaded some of the macros, you can start up from there. Save and recall, save state, recall state. So on the save state, we have state. The recall file dialog this is where you want to have a good backup and you want to transfer it to somewhere else other than this impedance analyzer. So recall, save channel, recall channel, this is more like the setup. Then save type, state. And then you can save the data, save trace data. So CSV format. Save S1P. So you have both magnitude and angle. Explorer, file explorer. So return system. This is where you set up for the connectivity to your impedance analyzer, which acts as the computer. So under miscellaneous setup, we have BIPA, test, big warning, and GPIB, if you're still using GPIB, network setup, this is where you set up the VNC, the network identification, network configuration. So you go straight to the window setup, similar clock setup, key lock, touchscreen, display, so this is where you calibrate the touchscreen, preset, factory, control panel, let's go back to your computer, and measurement setup, adapter setup, things like that, firmware, revision current is running for this one, service manual, this is most likely meant for the calibration and service folks. 
So let's return how far is where you find most of the information. Somewhere here. And that's it. Preset. So this is where I'm going to tell the instruments go back to default setting. That's it. We will detail walkthrough on all the buttons and what it can do. Thanks for watching. Thank you.